what is going on wabbits and welcome back to another episode of the wabbit talk and it's actually exactly the third episode of the wabbit talk Anyways, in today's episode, I'll be talking about my least favorite Bratz dolls. And before I express my opinions, I just want to make a disclaimer that this is not a hate video towards MGA or the Bratz franchise. I'm just simply stating my opinions and how I feel about specific dolls. Oh, and also, this is not in any specific numerical order whatsoever. Oh, and also, <laughs> I will not be talking about the 2015 Bratz reboot dolls because, let's face it, I don't really need to discuss the 2015 reboot because it was literal trash. But anyways, let's start. So, I'm gonna begin talking about the Bratz eye candy dolls. There is just something about the faces on all three of these dolls that I do not like at all. Uh, probably my least favorite out of all three of these is Phoebe. I don't like her face. I don't know. I've seen better of her. But I do like her packaging. I do like the artwork on her packaging, though. But I don't know. I hate the face on this doll. Now, I get it. The whole point of the eye candy uh, doll line was to make colors pop and basically be in your face and that's what made them stand out a lot but i don't know it I, it's not really her outfit either it's just basically just her whole face i don't like the way her eyes look i don't like her, her facial expression at all like i i just ew i don't like it at all anyways i'm gonna be talking about the eye candy chloe doll as well um i just Ugh, I don't like her face. I don't like her face. And that's probably my whole problem with all three of the eye candy dolls, is the face. But, oh my god. Like, I don't understand why they look like that. It looks really lazy to me. I, it's just, I don't know. I, I hate the face. I don't know. I've seen, like, I don't know. I guess I like it when the eyes are a little bigger, and I, I don't know. The color is cute, and I also like the packaging for Chloe, but it's just the faces on these dolls. I mean, I can't even express how bad these faces are. And... I like Yasmin's outfit. I like the colors that she has. But I get it. Like I said about Phoebe. These, like, the point of these dolls was kind of to stand out and the colors were supposed to pop. But I feel like they really could have made the facial expressions, the face, the makeup on the dolls completely better. Um, I really don't like them. I really, really don't. Would I still end up purchasing all three of these dolls? You know what? Yeah, probably because they're brats, but that's really it. Anyways, the next doll I'm going to be speaking about is Funk Out Nevra. Now, personally, Nevra is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite brats dolls. But this one was just not my cup of tea. I mean, I don't want to say the doll was plain or whatever, but it just felt like something was missing from her i mean overall i thought her second outfit was cute uh i love her face for sure it's really pretty but i don't know maybe she looks a little classier than usual to me um i don't know you know i'm basically more used to the brats being you know very standout-ish but i don't know something doesn't really sit right with me i mean Something is missing from her, I feel like. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm the only one that feels like that. But, yeah, that's really it. But the next dolls I'm going to be talking about are a couple of the Forever Diamonds dolls. Now, I really don't like the Chloe Forever Diamonds doll. I don't... I don't know. I don't... When I look at this, I don't really feel like it's Chloe. I mean, her outfit is cute. I like her, you know, her little purse. I like her little bling bling she has going on here. But, I don't know. She looks orange to me. Like, 
she went to the tanning salon and sat under a UV light for way too long. But I'm that's really it. I I just don't like how dark her skin is on her. You know, I don't feel like it's Chloe when I look at her like this. But um the next one I'm going to be talking about is the Forever Diamonds Katia doll. Oh my god. I don't like the face on her. You know, and when I look at her, I don't feel like it's Katia, you know. Now, one of my favorite Katia dolls are the Holiday Edition, or is the Holiday Edition Katia. I love her. I love her makeup. I love little, you know, she has a little dark side going on with her. But I don't know. I don't like this Katia doll. It's really just the face. I mean, I like the outfit, but no. The faces can do so much for me. Like, I hate the face on her. But that's it. That's the only problem I have with her. Alright, so the next doll I'm going to be talking about is this Holiday Chloe doll. Now, I know that there is a few Holiday Chloe dolls out there. But this one specifically, I feel like, was the worst of them all. Again, like I've said, the face... Like, the faces can do so much to the doll for me. Um, I don't know. She looks... Like, I don't know. The faces, to me, look very lazy when the eyes are cut like this, you know? They don't look sassy to me or whatever. They look very lazy to me. And I don't know. Like, I love her outfit. And I love the little bling bling she has going on in her skirt. And I love her boots. I love the color of her boots. I love holiday Bratz dolls in general. But this one is my least favorite of them all. At least Chloe wise, but no. I I just don't like her face. I love her hair, I love her outfit, I love the little tiara that she has and that I could have, but that's it. I don't like anything else. Her face I, I just don't like her face at all. The next doll I'm gonna be talking about is this holiday Trinity doll. Now Oh my gosh, like, I, I just don't get, like, holiday vibes from her, and that's, like, a problem for me. Like, I get quinceanera vibes from her, you know, like, with her whole dress and everything, but oh my god. I, I just, I don't know, this doesn't seem like a, a very holiday-ish, you know, doll. I mean, it's probably just the pink dress and that's it. Maybe if she wore red or even green with some, like, little white tool or something, you know? But, no, and I have to say this, and I know y'all are probably getting annoyed with me talking about the faces on these dolls, but oh my gosh, her face to me is just so funny. I mean, she looks so awkward, and, you know, her hair is cute, but I don't know, I just don't feel like there was a lot of detail with this doll, you know? This whole dress just doesn't give me holiday vibes, but that's... The only problem I have with the doll, nothing else really. Her makeup is cute, I guess, but she just feels a little plain, but that's really it. This next doll is a Megan doll. Now, I think this is the a sports Megan. I'm pretty sure it's sports Megan, but, you know, I appreciate the outfit and everything. I like how it has the Mexican flag on the shirt, but her hair for me... I don't know, it looks more brown than, you know, her little red hair that she has. Uh, I don't know, she doesn't feel like Megan, you know? Like, the little uh, artwork on the bottom of the box looks more like Megan than the actual doll. Here is the last doll that I'm going to be talking about, which is also a Megan doll. And... I don't like any of these only at Walmart dolls, like the Bratz ones. I forgot which year that these ones were released, but they're plain. And y'all know that these are, you know, more on the cheaper side of Bratz dolls. But I don't know. Y'all know she looks cheap. She looks so plain. Her her freaking uh, artwork on the bottom of the box looks more fashionable than her. That's the problem I have. The packaging and the outfit. The face is cute. 
But that's the only thing that's cute about her. And you know what? I, like, really hate the dolls that are in the skinny-ass packaging because that's when you know that they're probably going to be coming off the shelves soon because, you know, brats are fashion dolls and, and they have big-ass boxes and they always have, uh like, a bunch of little accessories, you know, that you'll lose easily or, like, little extra outfits. And this is not a fashion doll. This is nothing. Like, her outfit is plain. She has no little extra accessories. It's... I hate when dolls, like, are in the little skinny packaging because, you know, it's sad because, you know, they're dropping on sales. Nobody is really buying them as much anymore. But, yeah, that's really the only problem I have with that doll. You know, it's just really plain. But, yeah. Also, I just wanted to add on that the freaking artwork on the bottom of the package has more, like, style than this actual doll. Which I think is really funny. But, yeah. Like I said, that was the last doll. But I love making commentary videos like this. And I would love to keep making videos like this. So, if you like these type of videos please comment down below and please like this video please give it a thumbs up and also please subscribe it's free you have no charge whatsoever but yeah i think i'm gonna wrap up the video uh right here oh also um i'll be making a video about monster high dolls i never knew existed soon so yeah if you want to see that uh like I said, like this video, comment down below, and please subscribe. So, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, bye!